short response to William Ruto. Mr. William Ruto, Kenyans have rejected you. They have rejected you in their millions. They have rejected you from Mandera to Mombasa, from Kisumu to Kakamega to Bosia to Turkana. They have rejected you in Nairobi and all the cities and towns and villages of Kenya. This is not a small thing. And it is not something that has happened before. Kenyans of all generations, all ages, have rejected you, William Ruto. It is not just the Gen Zs. It is not just the millennials. It is not the so-called criminals that, quote, infiltrated the protests. The protests that have been taking place in Kenya from coast to coast, from north to south, east to west, have been peaceful and have been led by well-educated, articulate, focused, and disciplined Kenyans. They made a very simple demand that you should have met. They say, withdraw Finance Bill 2024. You could have done that last week. You, you ought not to have tabled it in Parliament because this is an alien anti-people bill which was drafted by the IMF and the World Bank in Washington. It's not our bill. Kenyans are taxed to death. You've turned Kenya into, uh, into an outlier state that kneels before the Western world. You thought you could loot Kenya, just like your predecessors have done. And we have said, no, listen to us. And we are not begging. We are making demands. And we are saying, if you don't withdraw Finance Bill 2024, and if you don't resign, we will remove you from power. Patriots, comrades, revolutionaries, Gen Zs, and millennials. I'm thrilled by the revolutionary energy on Kenyan streets and villages. Ruto has failed spectacularly in two years. He keeps complaining about the money that Uru Kenyatta stole, but we elected him to bring Uru Kenyatta to account and bring back the money so that the public debt and infrastructure and development can happen. He has brought a bill, Finance Bill 2024, which was drafted in Washington, D.C. by the IMF and the World Bank. It's become a poodle, a stooge, a slave of the Western imperialists. We are sovereign. Gen Z's and the millennials have decided to take back our country. We say bravo, occupy everywhere. Zakayo must come down from his patch. We are going back to elections. Kenyans will choose whoever they want. A person with integrity, with capacity and ability and acumen to restore sanity, to bring services to the people, to deliver what it is that Kenyans have been lacking for 60 years. We've never had independence. This is going to be the first one. Freedom is coming. Viva!